Folks, I'm here in a brand new four week old video game store. Gonna interview the owner today, a couple of whom you may recognize. This is Josh and Alan because up, we've, guys? we've actually done multiple videos before in their previous location, which was a shed. Yep, so basically a shed. Backyard shed. <laughs> and uh, so you guys have made a little bit of an upgrade here this yeah. month. Uh, yeah. would, would you mind, Josh, taking me through and just kind of, of showing course. quickly the different sections yeah. of the store? Absolutely. So here's all of our cords, uh, some of our loose games and stuff are down there in that bottom uh -huh. right Uh-huh. Got some loose game cube. And this is something that you were telling me you... Uh, kind of changed up this last month yeah. or so, right? Because you guys yeah, didn't yeah. used to do a ton with Pokemon cards. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh. And, and now you've binders. got, looks like a really solid selection. Are those binders full as well? Yeah, correct, yeah. And then the back left corner over there has probably 30,000 more. Oh my gosh. Boxes. Yeah, we have a ton of them. And then over here, we got a few more cards. Here's kind of our little retro section. Uh-huh. Uh, and then as far as our retro games, anything over 20 bucks, we keep in that case over there. Uh, and this is our PlayStation wall. We have PlayStation 3, 4, and 5. PlayStation 4 or 2 here. Uh -huh. We got pins. Some people like pins. Those are kind of new as well. How big are like collectibles for you guys versus actual games? I'd say what? Probably 70% of our income comes from the games. Yeah. And then the rest comes from the collectibles. The okay. collectibles are something we kind of enjoy. Yeah. There's a select few people that enjoy it. So we keep them for those people. Gotcha. That makes sense. And then here's over there um, the 360s, the Xbox Ones. Uh, we kind of display our consoles a little bit better now that we have the room. Um, I think probably the older stuff sells more than the newer stuff, so we try to keep a lot of the GameCube, N64, stuff like that in. Yeah. Uh, this sometimes plays trailers. Sometimes we have a little bit of a little gaming set up for people to have fun with. Yeah, that's fun. I tried. I actually tried this Gargoyle game on uh, an arcade cab. Oh, okay. yeah? Boy, it, the controls were so, <laughs> so jank. It, it was so, so hard. Have you played this game? No, not this one. My dad has, though. Oh, I could not get past, like, level two. It yeah, was crazy. No, I haven't even tried it. But then again, I am a fake gamer, so it shouldn't be surprised. <laughs> Here's our Nintendo section, just some, some newer Nintendo stuff, Switches and stuff like that. Um, accessories, headsets, controllers. Uh, we even try to get little build kits and stuff for people who like to repair stuff. That's really cool. Um, do you guys do many repairs here in the store? We do, but we try to keep it simple because mm -hmm. we don't want to risk messing stuff up. We're not the best. We're not the most agile when it comes to stuff like Sure. That. Uh, and then here's my uh, my girlfriend, Sheila. <laughs> I'll tell my fiance. Yikes. This is my girl on the side. Wow. So what's the history? I mean, this must have been expensive. It really wasn't that bad. We found a guy in Tompkinsville who was okay. selling them. And he had like three or four. They were all brand new. He made he makes them. No, no, no. He had bought them, and I guess wherever he bought them from discontinued them. Uh huh. And so he was just selling his overstock from them. Wow. So right now we're holding on to it. Maybe when Stranger Things new season comes out, we'll be selling. I don't know. That's really we're cool. We're pretty attached to it now. <laughs> and here's some more figures, our wrestlers, a little bit of Funko Pops. Uh huh. Um, odds and ends. Uh, we got T-shirts, some Player One Gaming T-shirts, and. Deadpool, everything, you name it. Yeah. Uh, more figures. My favorite TV in the world, the battering remote control. This thing is so cool. <laughs> yeah, we love that. Batman, CRT, I love it. Um, and then we got more figures on this wall, some jerseys. Uh, we started selling shoes. Yeah. You know, kind of just kind of broadening our horizon, seeing what people like, uh, kind of how we started the place. Have you have you made many shoe sales? Actually, we just got these in what last week. Yep. Okay. So no, no, <laughs> we made a hat sale though. We had in a jersey sale. Okay. Uh, and then we got this. Right now, this is ours. We don't want to sell this yet because we're attached to it. That's really cool. But it's pretty cool. We just got this in last week as well. Oh, and it's cool to have stuff for people to do when they come in store too. Right, right. And we wanted to put a TV in that back top corner that'll play like horror movies all day. Oh, and, super cool idea. You know, we want to put lights and stuff in here. Because uh, it's kind of like a horror corner. Yeah. So, yeah, and that's pretty much it so far. You know, we're wanting to put pops and stuff up here. And, okay, yeah, you've got a, a little bit of real estate still to work with. Right, right. Are yeah. you worried at all for this section, especially with, like, the light coming in and, like, getting any sun fading or anything? No, we've talked about getting, like, something like a tarp or something that we would cover this door mm -hmm. with. Mm -hmm. Also to discourage people from, you know, breaking in and stuff like sure. that. Sure, yeah. But, yeah, we've talked about doing stuff like that. I don't think we'd be too worried about it. <sighs> Wow. Um, and then, like I said, this is our more expensive uh, cabinet. This yeah. is one of the purchases we made during the move. 
you know, we some... moved closer to town. Uh, we thought things would be a little more secure. Uh-huh. And so coming from the shed, how expensive is a case like this? Uh, I think they run between, what, seven to nine hundred, yeah. just depending on uh, things like color. For a single glass case. Yeah, yeah they're expensive. That's and about the cheapest we could find it. <laughs> yeah, putting it together took way too much. Yeah, wow. So for anyone thinking about opening a store, uh, th this is the kind of, for one glass case, that's crazy. Yeah. And what about, you said the slat wall and stuff also was expensive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we spent anywhere between, what, 25 and three for 3,000 mm -hmm. on slate wall alone. That's not counting the extra shelvings we had to get and everything else. But realistically, that wasn't that bad. Yeah, I mean. I mean, really. We yeah. Compared to what lucky. some people move into a new location. Right. We were really lucky. Yeah, yeah. And, you, and you had some of the shelving and the yeah. slat wall and everything from the last location, yeah. so it right. wasn't like. Right. If someone's if, if someone's starting a game store, it's going to cost more than you know yeah. a few thousand dollars. Oh yeah, probably. yeah. We were lucky because we already had all the inventory too. Right. All yeah. this stuff we had, you know, in storage. Mm -hmm. So we got to bring it over and showcase it, which was something that was really important to us. Uh, and then luckily we already had this uh -huh. in the old store as well. Yeah, so and this, and this case is gorgeous. This would have been another probably five hundred if we hadn't have done that. Wow. Yeah, I'm I'm loving the look of it. I'm gonna take a little spin around here, yeah. see if I can find some stuff to buy. Absolutely. And I also bought a, brought a few things to potentially sell you guys if you're interested. Sure. So we'll we'll dive into those too. Sure. Folks, looking in the expensive new glass case, I found something already that we may be interested in. We'll see. I know this is something that we do uh, buy through Quick Flips. I didn't see a price on it though. Do you guys know what you had on that, or do you need to look it up? Um, I think we had. Yeah, when we moved, Pretty sure probably, we had three... So, oh, yeah, it probably got ripped off. Yeah. Okay. Let me search that up for you. Player one game. And one okay, 360 on this guy? Yeah. Uh, gotcha. Appreciate it. Yeah, like that. yeah, yeah, that's a rare one. See, we don't really... Yeah, I'm definitely seeing a lot in this glass case that we do buy through Quick Flips. We got Mario, Con yes, 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 yes. So I'll just have to check prices. Yeah, Metroid, Zeldas. Wow, this is a great NES selection. Um, there was some stuff up there, Shadow, I know that we're buying. Unfortunately, folks, this is like one of the first times that I've actually been able to use 1UP out in the wild. It's still, at the time of filming this, it's still in beta. And also I'm using my phone to film this, so I can't show you guys, but I'll try to get some screen recordings because I've just, it's, it, I've been so jacked to actually use it and it's been working pretty well. Uh, but anyways, as I'm finding some of this stuff, I'll actually, I'll pop this up for you guys and you can take a look at some of the stuff I brought for you. Let's, okay, so this is, a, this is the biggest weird one. We like weird. This is most of a Mario Edition Switch, except I think we used the Joy-Cons for something at some point. I didn't know if you guys... Had any extra Joy Cons that you could maybe yeah. you do? Okay, yeah, yeah. We do. so maybe just it is brand new, so okay. it has that going for it. It's got the case and you know the other stuff. Oh, and I guess the dock as well is gone. <laughs> oh, that's the fine. dock, and so we it's actually something. got a uh, Animal Crossing dock. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so what weird we to So you could make a Frankenstein console. Yeah, I think we'd be interested in that. Um, and then what else do I have? Oh, this is this is a bad one. No, not that one. This one actually is. Kind of, why is this in here? Ah, whatever. <laughs> there you go for that. <laughs> and then, okay, this is what I was thinking of. So this was a little bit of a tragedy because we like set this down very gently at some point oh and the corner chipped. <laughs> um, the good news is like is on that, playable? it's still playable and you could just replace the back if yep. you wanted to. Yep. We just, if we replace the back, we couldn't sell it on Amazon. We can't sell it on Amazon yep. like that. So I was just like, oh, guess we have to take a loss we on that. We actually had boy. somebody looking for that. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, cool. So that'll work. Um, and then the last few things were just some random Switch games that for some reason Amazon wasn't wanting us to sell. Don't know why. Switches oh, yeah. are always a plus. We yeah. cannot keep the switches in. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Cool. So, yeah. Well, yeah, I'll let, I'll let you guys take a look at all that and yeah, good. come back over here. I have a uh, Sheila yeah. to keep me company. <laughs> and some of the stuff that sells best for us, yeah, Smash Bros. Some, somebody dropped something over here. Uh, <laughs> Ten extra bucks. Ten thousand fail. <laughs> Where'd they go? That's why we set it up. Man. There's some riff raff in this shop. I don't know who did that. Sonic and Knuckles looks okay. Fortunately, so I was I, I was just <laughs> I was trying to get a look at this Smash Bros. Is this 
authentic or is it just like a replacement that is, tape? Oh. I'm not the only one. <laughs> There's two, it. two culprits in the building. Um, that's actually a reproduction. It is a repro, okay. Yeah, we do invest in reproductions from time to time because some yeah. people like to have them, but they don't want to pay right. all that money. So yeah. we do invest in reproductions. But we yeah. always let people know for sure. Oh, right. Yeah, 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 that is, that's, that's a contentious issue. Yeah. For, like some people think they shouldn't be sold at all. Some yeah. people are like, uh, as long as you say it. Yeah, so, yeah. I, yeah, well, I don't really talking. care that much. As long as you are labeled, I yeah. think that's the biggest Around thing. Around this town, we've got a lot of people that really can't afford it. I mean, it's kind of mm. tough times right now. Right. So they love that we have this stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and so, I mean, you know, that that kind of helps. I mean, yeah, you've got people that just don't think you should sell it. Right. But what about those that can't afford some of the games? And it is, a t it is a tough game to keep in stock. It yeah. is, it's hard to blame people for, like... I know some people in the comments will be like, oh, like, just emulate it, emulation, but, like, not everyone knows how to do that or, yeah. like, has the yeah. equipment, so yeah. it's, it's, hard. It. it's yeah. hard to blame people for wanting to play some of their childhood classics and not right. pay $60 or whatever. Exactly, so, exactly. I, I'm kind of with you. I don't, yeah. Maybe I can't say that I am without getting canceled, though, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they do have some cool... Um, Zelda Link to the Past, I know that's another one that... We're buying as well. Ooh, Mario World. Absolute classic. And uh, it's fairly close, I think, to what we're paying. Some solid GameCube titles as well. Love to see it. They had a big Wii section over here. I didn't see a ton of, like, the AAA stuff that we buy, but Wii is. Um, you guys don't have any Wii Sports, do you? Man, we had a bunch, but they sell. Like, that's, like, yeah. the number one. We've People got a always look few, for just a few there and just a few up here. Okay, of uh, Wii Sports. Yeah, uh, oh, is it Wii Sports? Yeah, exactly. Oh, Wii Sports. yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah, we had like 15 copies at uh -huh. Christmas to, to, what, last two weeks? We yeah. sold them all. Yeah. Wow. It yeah, well, it's a huge family game. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, in the sure. short. It's kind of funny, too. I don't think we've ever bought a copy of it. They always just kind of come in they... organically. Just really? Like, yeah. And yeah, yeah. We'll yeah. get Wii's. Eight times out of ten, the Wii's will just have it in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> like, it'll just already be there. Yeah, it's the most, because it was bundled with it. Yeah, so. yeah, so. That makes sense. Well, I guess I'm going home Wii Sports List. That is one of, that's <laughs> one of our best sellers as well, is why yeah. I ask. Yeah. But there, there, there's plenty of goodies around here for me to, for me to get my greasy little fingers on and, you know, <laughs> knock off the shelves, <laughs> cause property damage. <laughs> okay, so now that I have picked out some stuff, and you guys have made me an offer on some of this stuff. Yep. Uh, and you're actually both on one up now, which is great. <laughs> love it. We're hooked up. Love we're to loving see it. that. Hopefully it, it serves you well. That's all we're gonna use. I, I wanted to ask you guys, what's been like the biggest pros and cons from moving from like a small kind of home-based operation into this big retail, more commercial space? Like what's the, give me the good, the bad, and the ugly. The very first bad thing um, was immediate and it was the overhead mm. overhead definitely is the biggest deal uh, we went from paying virtually nothing mm -hmm. you know an overhead right um, to just electric yeah insurance which hey insurance actually was cheaper believe it or not okay yeah it wasn't uh, but house. now we have have you know you got your rent and your um, um, internet service right but does it even itself out or does it you know uh, but to come to find out, it's actually doubling it to tripling. So those are easier to meet. Wow. So in essence, I mean, you know, you, it's when you say plus. doubling or tripling, you mean like revenue, like yeah. your, like your intake. Yeah. yeah. So okay. So like yeah. our, you know, overhead may double, but if our income triples, right. our income, you know, technically yeah. doubles, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. Wow. And what's been the feedback that you've gotten from like customers? Are they happy with the transition? Yeah, yeah, I think everybody has had something good to say about it, and there's been one or two that's like, oh, well, you know, we miss the homey feel, as we <laughs> said, you know. And we do, too, to a sense. Yeah. But everybody loves the new stuff. They love the new uh, figures and stuff we have on display and just the overall vibe of here. Yeah. What is, like, do you guys have any visions or ambitions for the future of this space? Is that, like, the same or different from what it was in the last place? 
to bust that wall out and continue to go <laughs> out. Okay. So you're going to have to... Is that the other side occupied right now? <laughs> it's a dog groomer. A dog groomer? <laughs> Well, I'm not going to cross my fingers that, you know, they're business you know, we're tanks. Playing, we're I playing. think I think that's a pretty economically secure uh, industry, yeah. so it may be a while. Yeah, yeah. But for you guys' sake, I hope that you can expand. That'd yeah. be cool. I mean, right now, we're pretty content. Uh, could we use more space? Maybe a little bit. Yeah. Um, but I think for right now, we move slow uh, to make sure it's going to work. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that's the, you know, plus of this. Yeah, we were in the shed for like three or four years. So maybe we'll stay here for three or four years and expand mm -hmm. again, move to a bigger place. Yeah. So, but we want to decorate this, put more lights in, stuff like that. Oh, sure. Yeah. yeah, we still got a lot to do. What advice do you guys have for like other kinds of video game related business owners? Like what, what do other people have to learn from this operation and how you've grown it? Move slow. Move slow, yeah. Don't rush anything. Mm. Yeah. Don't go in debt for something because the economy right now is just, it's insane. Yeah. And be uh, fair with prices. Yeah. That's the one thing that's always kept people coming back is that we give good deals, you know, like don't be afraid to lose a little bit of money here to gain a long-term customer, mm -hmm. you know, that kind of thing. Yeah, and friendliness. I think that's one of our biggest things we get. Yeah. People just think, you know, it's a friendly atmosphere. People that come in, you know, they love the place. And, and we do get a lot of reviews or reviews on just, hey, friendly place. Yeah. Right? And that's what we really like. We try to say hi when you come in, bye when you leave. Um, so, you know, I think that means a lot to people. Absolutely. And it's hard to call them customers because they feel like friends. Mm. Yeah. So, you know... When I'm on the phone, it's like, oh, I got to get off here. I've got a customer. Almost, it's like, you know, I got to get off here. I got a friend. <laughs> you know? Right. You feel bad calling customers because they do. They kind of feel like friends. It always strikes me how much of business comes down to just the simple stuff. Yeah. And I can definitely yeah. attest from yeah. having come here for a couple of years now Yeah. that you guys yeah. definitely do have that personal touch and uh, it it feels nice coming in here. Yeah. I look forward to it every time. And that's time. what we want. Yeah. That's what we want. We want you just to come in and. Feel free. If you drop a case, it's okay. Or if you drop something in there, it's okay. You if know. you accidentally clear out half the shelf it's of the okay. most valuable it's games. It's okay. Well, if you need a hug, we'll give you a hug. <laughs> we're actually wanting to get more involved in the community as well. We're going to start okay. doing um, card uh, tournaments and stuff mm -hmm. here as well. Yeah. Uh, game tournaments. You know, we've, we've talked yeah. about getting tables, couches, stuff mm -hmm. like that. So Just make it a place for people to hang out. Well, folks, it looks like this is pretty close to the stack that I'll be coming away with today. Thank you, as always, gents. It's been a pleasure. Mm -hmm. And uh, if any of you guys at home have not been out to Player One Gaming, here is the info in Russell Springs, Kentucky. When you're here, you're family. Absolutely. <laughs> not Olive Garden. Player One Gaming. Don't get it twisted. That's our slogan. It's your family. It's going to be sweet. Oh, my gosh. What it's hideous. <laughs> <laughs>